<laughs> Hello Aries. Now, if this resonates with you, please be sure to click the like button and just tap on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand corner of the video. Um, what that does is any future posts that I put up, you'll see them come right up on your feed. If this video does not resonate with you, please be sure to check your moon and rising signs, okay? This is a general reading. It is not meant for everybody. Aries. What do we have? Underlining energy of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles, that's money coming in, Aries. We have a nice windfall of money coming in. Okay, now let's see here. So where are we at currently with our finance, Aries? Okay, so we have the Lover's Card. That's where you're currently at with your with, with with your money or with your finance, okay? So what do I, what I feel here is the lover's card doesn't always have to be a relationship connection. This can also mean decisions, Aries, okay? So you have some major decisions to make when it comes down to money and to career, okay? Major decisions on what relationships you wanna keep, what relationships you need to cut out to better your financial situation, to better your career big decisions. That's where you're at right now, Aries. Now, what is crossing this is the fool, okay? So you want to have new beginnings, but, you know, new beginnings sometimes do come with risks, and you, you know, maybe have a fear of making these decisions or these risks, but there are risks that you have to take and decisions that you have to make, and that is your current situation with money and finance. What is the best that can come out of this is the magician, okay? The magician is you manifesting, Aries. Manifest, uh, pray, use your spirit of discernment, you know, pray to, to know what course is best to take. The more you think about something, the more you pray about something, and the more you speak about something, the more it will take effect in your life, okay? That is the best case scenario for this situation. Why we are doing this reading right now? the queen of swords okay you need to become the queen of swords here you need to cut emotional issues out of your life you need to put your sword up and you need to worry about doing what is right what is strategic um you know you have to think about being a knight in armor putting on that armor and only doing what's going to get you to that victory okay aries i mean clean cut if you have to cut people out of your life if you have to take risks do whatever you have to do. You have to be this this ice queen. You have to you have to focus only on your victory. Okay, Aries. Now, in the recent past, you have been the queen of wands. Okay. Now, the queen of wands is someone who is. Um, Come, you communicate a lot, uh, you know, maybe a little gossiping here or there, having friends, small talk, no real deep conversations with them and anybody, just a free spirit, kind of flints here, kind of flints there. Um, you know, you've been doing a, a, a lot of, you know, talking, but you see how relaxed that queen is? Look at how different these two queens are. Look at how different they are. One is just relaxed, chilling, having a cup of coffee, talking to their neighbor, and this one is like, Halt, don't come near me. What do you want? I have things to do. My mind is on my money right now, okay? Two totally different people here, all right? So this is this is your recent past, and this is what you know deep down inside you need to become to succeed, all right? Now, in your recent future, we have the devil, okay? We have restriction. We have obsessions. We have, um, you know... Unfortunately, you may be addicted to this type of behavior of just sitting around doing nothing possible laziness, okay? Um, you know, you, you have some serious addictions that you need to overcome, okay? Whether it's relationship addictions, it could be anything, you know, it could be anything. There's something really holding you back and that's gonna be in your recent future. If you do not learn how to cut these restrictions out of your life or figure out and make the decision 
and take some risks and start using that sword there to cut these addictions out of your life, to cut, to cut this bad behavior. Now, addictions doesn't always have to be drugs, okay? Addictions can be just negative thinking, negative thinking, being lazy, you know, not, not focusing on, you know, not, not focusing, being too emotional, you know, and not strategizing and thinking about what you're supposed to do. This is your recent future. Okay, you have to, you know, you're going to be restricted. Nothing is going to happen if you don't, you know, again, you have to manifest it. If you don't move towards it, if you don't mentally move towards it and, and have ambition towards that goal. See here, we have ambition and action, ambition and action. If you don't move towards it, you're going to be restricting yourself. Now, this is what you want right now. This is you. You want your wish fulfillment. You want to achieve your goals. Okay, you want to achieve them. I mean, you, you have that desire inside of you. Your current environment is the sun. You are looking to grow and recover, okay? Possibly from, you know, you know what your vices are, Aries. You know what your vices are. You know what's holding you back and you're looking to grow and recover from this, from, from this. You know, you're looking to grow and recover from whatever's in your environment that's holding you back. What is your biggest hope or your worst fear? Okay, financial instability. One minute it's up, one minute it's down, one minute it's up, one minute it's down. This is, you know, your hope is to overcome this and be this financially stable person, okay? And your, you know, your fear is that you're, not, you're never gonna get out of being financially unstable, that it's gonna be this ever never ending cycle. You see how you have the eight there? It's gonna be a never ending cycle of one minute it's up, one minute it's down. One week I have $2, one week I have none. You know, I mean, it's just like infinite. So, you know, your biggest hope is to gain that financial stability and your biggest fear is to lose it. What is the outcome? So the outcome is gonna be the four of swords. Now the four of swords is celebration after success. Okay, you will succeed, Aries. You will succeed, but you have got to, you know, overcome overcome whatever this is. Overcome whatever this this bad behavior that you have in your life. It could be laziness. It could be, you know, thinking bad thoughts, constant bad thoughts, not manifesting properly, not praying properly. The fact that you're way too laid back, way too laid back and you're not doing this, you're not cutting the right people out of your life, you're not protecting your personal space, um, you know, you need to gain that strength, you need to grow, you need to recover from the things that, you know, in your past, the things that are holding you down, you need to overcome this, this, whatever it is, whatever's restricting you here, okay, you want, you want your wish to come true, you want this, you want this in your life, and you're going to succeed in getting it because we have reward after success here. We have said, look at how they're celebrating. We have celebration after success. All right, Aries, I think this is beautiful. You know, you just have some demons that you have to overcome. But I truly think you're going to get there. You really want what you want. You're willing to pick up your sword and put on your armor. You're willing to turn to God or manifest. You know, you're willing to manifest this, this success into your life. And I wish you the best of luck with it, okay? Again, please be sure to like and subscribe on the links below. Have a great day.